Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! The Archbishop of Canterbury says three weeks of revelations of child abuse by clergy have made him ashamed of the Church of England. Justin Welby has been giving evidence at the independent inquiry into child sexual abuse. Here's our religion editor, Martin Bashir. Nestled along the south coast, Chichester is one of the Church of England's most picturesque dioceses. It's also been the setting for a multitude of child abusers, and there have been dozens of convictions, including Canon Gordon Rideout, Father Robert Coles, the Reverend Jonathan Graves, Father Vickery House, Bishop Peter Ball. Nursing a heavy cold, the Archbishop of Canterbury arrived to give evidence after almost three weeks focused on the Church of England, where the inquiry heard that cover-ups were commonplace, evidence was burned, and priests routinely abused their power. I swear by Almighty God. I swear by Almighty God. Answering questions for almost three hours, counsel to the inquiry Fiona Scolding asked the Archbishop what he'd learned from the process. He appeared to choke back tears. Um, I've learned to be ashamed again of the church. Phil Johnson was abused by a priest in the Diocese of Chichester. What's also been shown up through his evidence and the evidence throughout the inquiry is just how little power that he actually has. And, um, you know, he can use his authority and influence to try and effect change, but can't actually direct it. This is not how Justin Welby would have chosen to mark the fifth anniversary of his installation, but he assured the inquiry that safeguarding remained a priority. Martin Bashir, BBC News. I've been